Some might say that I'm a loner But I just call it being free I am my heart's only owner Cause now a wildfire is raging deep inside And my horn strings are Hi everyone, I'm Marie from Southern Country Living And I'm Calvin And today we're going to do uh, Calvin's best meatloaf And also this is, we wanted to show you some of the harvest that we got out of our garden We got um, a lot of squash and some tomatoes and cucumbers and bell pepper and today we're going to make a squash casserole and this is my favorite recipe that I'm going to be using and uh, Calvin like I said he's going to be making his best meatloaf and I have uh, two uh, meatloafs that I've already made uh, and we'll have those in the description below if you would like to go to that link and see those uh, videos hmm. And so uh, <clears throat> one of them is an exceptional meatloaf and another one is a Mexican meatloaf. Um, but uh, today Kevin's uh, going to do his best meatloaf. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is a recipe that we just found and I really like the way it looks and the ingredients. Uh, looks like it's going to be a really good recipe for meatloaf. And so we're going to make it and try it, and when we get through and do the taste test, we'll let you know how it turns out, won't we, Marie? Yeah, the reason I said best is because I always like your cooking better than mine. <laughs> well, if it turns out to be the best, we'll put that in the uh, name of the video, Best Meatloaf. <laughs> um, okay, and so uh, we're going to do the meatloaf, and we're going to have this uh, squash casserole to go with it. And we're going to have one other side dish, but we haven't decided on which side dish that's going to be. And Marie and I, we're going to work together on the squash casserole and get it ready to go in the oven before we start on the uh, meatloaf. But Marie, you like to do everything the fast and easy way, so I'll let you get started on the squash casserole. Okay. Wow, Marie, that is the feist and easy way. You're going to have to teach us that little trick. <laughs> I got a lot of tricks up my sleeve. I believe you do. Okay, this is the same squash casserole that Marie, or uh, same recipe that she used on her uh, Monday night's video. And this is her favorite squash casserole. She's made this many, many times. And well, a lot of our... Um subscribers that have made it have really bragged on it they really like it yes yeah, great i can't wait to get a hold of it this evening i'm gonna set this over here on the oven to the side for just a few minutes and while it's sitting over there we're going to get started on the meatloaf i've got one tablespoon of butter in here starting to melt down and i'm gonna go ahead and turn the heat up just a little okay and this is one half of an onion diced up real fine. Add that to it. And then you can add bell pepper to it if you like it. And if not, you don't have to. But I'm going to put about a half of a bell pepper in here that's diced up real fine. Uh, Marie and I, we both like bell pepper in our meatloaf, don't we? Yes, I like bell pepper in anything. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And so uh, stir this up just a little let it start sauteing. It's going to take it about four or five minutes at least to saute. So we'll let that get started. And actually I don't need this right this minute. So I'm going to set it over there out of the way and bring this bowl over here. And what I'm going to do first, I've got two eggs. Go ahead and put the two eggs in. Marina, I can't crack eggs as good as all these other people can. I know some of them can crack up one in each hand. <laughs> yeah, I can't do that. <laughs> me neither. That's not happening with me. <laughs> but you're a clean cook, and so that's good. <laughs> you're not a messy one. Okay, then I'm going to add 
This is three-fourths of a cup of milk. And this is three-fourths of a cup of uh, Italian breadcrumbs. So put all that in there. Give these peppers and onions a little stir right quick. They're starting to get that good smell. Yeah, they're they're brand, they're salty and good, aren't they? Yeah. Okay, now I'm just gonna stir this up real good. And this recipe calls for after you mix up this mixture here to let it just set for a few minutes before you add the meat to it. So that's exactly what we're going to do. There's all different ways to make meat love. <laughs> there he is. And you know, you can go to 10 different restaurants and it seems like it's always a little different, isn't it? Yeah. But this particular one, I love all the Italian seasonings that we put in. And uh, the recipe will be in the description below the video. So if you look down there, you'll see how many seasonings are going in this. Back in the 50s, she had meat love about every, not every meal, but at least once a week. <laughs> And I didn't pay much attention to how much the uh, ground beef was this time, but we got the pack from Walmart. It's actually two and a quarter pounds, so it's a little over two pounds, but that's okay to make a little more meatloaf. And I think it was 11 something for, for this package. Yeah. So it's the most expensive part of the uh, recipe. Okay, this is going to take probably three more minutes to finish sauteing. So I'll cut right here and I'll be right back with you in about three minutes or so. Well, those baby these onions done. are looking <laughs> real good now. They're starting to brown just a little bit. So let me go ahead and uh, start mixing everything into the bowl over here. For the meat. Okay, my onions and peppers are sauteed just like I want them. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna actually set them over here so they'll be off the heat for just a few minutes and go ahead and start mixing this up. Uh, now see how I let that sit? And it looks like it thickened up just a little bit, don't it, Marie? Yeah. So that looks good. I'm going to add the uh, ground beef to it. And let me just break it up a little bit before I start mixing it. You might have could use your hamburger. My hamburger meister? Yep. May need to, but we'll work on this for just a second. I love the way bell peppers and onions smell when they're sauteed. Oh, I do too. I almost need a bigger bowl, didn't I, Marie? Yeah, you did. Now this recipe did call for two pounds of uh, ground beef. You could probably make this recipe with just one pound and just sort of reduce the other ingredients a little bit. Okay, let me add my spices to it. Now this is salt, pepper, Italian seasoning, and uh, parsley flakes. So I'm just going to spread them out a little bit so they'll be all around won't be clumped in one area. Now this is what I like about this recipe. It calls for chili sauce. Now this is not real hot and spicy, but it just has a good chili flavor to it. And I think it calls for about a tablespoon. So Marie, this is a high measure of tablespoon. <laughs> I'm always so precise, but you're, you're like my mother. Just <laughs> throw it in there. <laughs> okay, now we'll go ahead and add the peppers and onions to it. And I'm sorry, but I just covered up the camera where you couldn't see me pouring it in there. 
But there it is. Mm. Now for the fun part. Getting this all mixed together and making it into a loaf. And they say you're not supposed to over mix it, right Marie? That's what they say. <laughs> <laughs> this is one meal I'm looking forward to today. I love meatloaf. <laughs> Oh, I do too. I love good meatloaf. Marie, I've never made a meatloaf before, have I? I don't think so. You just... I make a lot I of I make recipes. it different ways too. I don't always make everything the same way. Same way I like to try different recipes. Yes. So yeah. I'll see if I like yours better than mine. Wow. Well, I doubt that you'll like this better than yours. But uh, Cynthia told me on your recipe, the exceptional recipe, that she has that recipe written out mm -hmm. and hanging, I believe she said, on the side of her refrigerator because every time she makes it, she uses that recipe. Yes. And says it's really good. Yeah. Okay. Is that mixed up enough, Marie, or do I need to get in there with my hands? Go right ahead. <laughs> <laughs> but no, seriously. It looks good. Is it mixed up enough? Mm-hmm. I think it's mixed down in the bottom. When you shape it, you're probably going to do that anyway. And my hands are going to get all into it when I shape it. Right. In that case, I'll go ahead and give me a paper towel and be ready. <laughs> okay. Okay. Let me set this over here where it will be. Where the you camera could can wear, wear gloves, but I hate wearing gloves. <laughs> I do too. And yeah. I always make sure that my hands and we always... Uh, wash our hands really good before we start a rest, start cooking. Yes, and my recipe, my hands were washed good before I started. Right. Cooking. Okay, see if I can pour this all into it. It looks like some on the bottom might have not got mixed up good. Well, we'll just do it like this a little bit until we get it like we want it. Okay. Okay, now see if I can shape this. I've got experiences on shaping them if you want me to. <laughs> if, okay, I may need you to, but let me try and see how it works and you let me know what you think. The main thing is you want to make sure that it doesn't have any cracks in the top. Okay. And that it's i got to be careful next to this electric eye right here because it is hot. I can feel the heat coming off of it uh, still. Yeah, that's... Okay, Marie, now there's a little crack right there, so I need to fix that, don't I? Yes. Is that too tall, or is that about the right height? It's about the right height, but this is lower, and then this right here has got some cracks in it. Okay, let's work it around a little bit. That side's the highest. Okay. I'll spread it out a little bit. It's going to make a nice big meatloaf. Right one. there. Right there. Okay. Just kind of take your hand and I will show you me. I just have to get in here too. <laughs> well, now Marie's been doing this for years, so she knows what it needs. No, you're, you're a good cook. I, I don't. I love your food. <laughs> what do we think about this? I think it's pretty good, but this high, this side's still a little high, and this is a little bit low, but I think it'll work. Okay. <laughs> okay, I'm going to put this in the oven, and we're going to put the squash casserole and this in the oven at the same time. They'll both be cooking on 350. The squash casserole will get through before the meatloaf, yeah. and since this is a big meatloaf, it, it's going to take at least an hour. Yeah. It might take a little longer. Yeah, and we might have to cover it up on top. Sometimes I tint it. Yeah, and I'll be mixing the mixture to put on top here, uh, and I'll put it on close to the end of the cooking time. Yeah. Okay, so we'll be back with y'all in just a little while. Okay, everyone, the uh, squash casserole is already out of the oven, and it looks great. Can't wait to get a hold of that. The uh, meatloaf has been cooking for a little over 40 minutes right now. 
and let me turn the timer off. I'm going to go ahead and mix up the salts for it. And this is a pretty simple salts. About a half of a cup of ketchup. Okay, there's a half a cup of ketchup. And now I'm going to put a half of a cup of the chili sauce in it. And then I'm going to put two tablespoons of brown sugar in there with it. Okay, and just mix this together. Okay, I'm going to set this to the side for a few minutes and put this over here because that pan's going to be really hot. But let me get the uh, meatloaf out and let's see how it's starting to look. Okay, it looks pretty good. Like I said, I am going to let this cook a little longer than normal because we want to be sure that it gets good and done. It was a bigger meatloaf, but I'm going to brush some of this sauce right on top. Marie, how's that looking there? It looks great and it smells really great. <laughs> I probably should go ahead and check the temperature on it, but I don't think it would be done yet. Okay. And I'm just going to put that much sauce on it for right now. And once it comes out the next time, I may put just a little more on top of it then. So let me get this back in the oven, and we'll be back with you in about 15 minutes or so. Actually, when this gets through cooking, I'm going to cook it about 15 more minutes. But then I want to let it sit and rest for at least 10 minutes before we cut it. So we'll be back with you in just a little bit. Okay everyone, we're back. The meatloaf is finished cooking and we let it sit and rest for about 10 to 15 minutes. And we decided for our uh, other side that we're gonna have cream potatoes. So we've got cream potatoes, squash casserole, and meatloaf. And I did taste of the sauce that we put on. Yeah. Uh, I didn't do it on camera, but I got me a spoonful and tasted. And I love that sauce. It's really, really good. So Marie, let's do a taste test on this meatloaf. We know how the, we know we love the squash. We know we love potatoes. So let's do a taste test on the meatloaf and see what we think about it. I believe that is the best meatloaf. 
<laughs> I only, really like your recipe. I only got one bite. I want to get another bite with some of the sauce on top of it. Get over and get into that sauce. I like glaze, looks good. That chili sauce really gives it a great flavor. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. I should put about twice as much uh, sauce on it. That is good, Marie. Yes, it is. Okay, if you try this recipe, I think you're going to love it. I think so too. This the, might be my new recipe too. <laughs> the meatloaf held together good. And it looked pretty decent. Uh, I'll show you some more pictures of it here. Uh, for the first time I've ever made a meatloaf, I think it turned out okay. How you feel about it, Marie? Oh, I think it was really your best meatloaf. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, I hope you enjoyed this uh, video. And uh, I know if you try Marie's uh, squash casserole, you're going to really love that. And this meatloaf, of course, we'll know more after we eat the whole thing. But the first two or three bites, I love it. Me so too. I think it's going to be real good. Okay, so Marie, I'll let you do the closing out of the video for us today. Okay, so y'all do what you love and love what you do. And we'll see you on the next video. Bye. Y'all have a great day. Like a bird on a tree. I'm just sitting here. I got time. It's clear to see. From up here